G'day, Livia Regano with tonight's weather. Classic trade wind pattern set up for Queensland this week, so it should stay cool and breezy. Couple of showers in the southeast, but no major rainfall in the pipeline. Tops today were mostly in the high 20s, comfortably below average and so much nicer than the 30s we had a week ago. Overnight temps were equally lovely. On the satellite loop, despite not seeing much rain reach the ground today, we've had lots of cloud in all the places that we don't normally get it, including inland. This afternoon we had some storms go up on the Atherton Tablelands. Early this morning some unexpected rain came through the Whitsunday coast. Lots of stuff going on, but not that much in the long run and most of it is now clearing and it should stay dry now for some days. Let's look at today's chart. On the surface, we have a classic high-pressure setup in the Tasman Sea. The anti-clockwise flow around that system, augmented by that deep Tasman low, is producing no southeasterly winds. We've had warning strength winds for Mackay and Townsville waters. On tomorrow's chart, the high stays pretty much put. We do have an upper-level trough moving over the southeast that might enhance showers for a day, but the rest of the state should remain fine. Now the latest from the Weather Bureau, the boating forecast for Mackay Water's southeast winds up to 25 knots tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday the same, seas to a metre and a half, no warnings at this stage. Tomorrow's full moon, so we've got a big morning tide coming our way with a strong run out to the afternoon low tide. These wide tidal swings will last a few more days. Central Coast and Whitsunday is a fine sunny day. Mackay 20 to a comfy 29 degrees. Bowen and Proserpine 31. Central Highlands and Coalfields just the chance of an afternoon shower on the Carnarvon Ranges. Otherwise fine with Emerald reaching 30 degrees. Claremont and Moranbar 31. Looking ahead for Mackay, no rain Wednesday to Sunday, but models are hinting at a new weather system developing next week. Mild and breezy until then with a slight temperature rise this weekend. I've had an inquiry about double rainbows, so check out this picture taken a few years ago by a photographer whose name I've lost. These magnificent spectacles occur when tiny raindrops act like glass prisms and break up sunlight into its seven colours. The first rainbow comes from a single reflection inside the raindrop. But sometimes it's possible for sunlight to bounce twice inside the drop before it comes out the other side to reach our eyes. This reverses the order of the colours and if you look carefully, the second rainbow is indeed back to front. That's tonight's weather, folks. Thank you all, and I do hope to see you again tomorrow. But for now, it's back to the team. You're wonderful, Liv. Thank you very much, mate. Well, that wraps it up. Anything you'd like to watch again, pick it up on our 7 Plus app or our page, 7news.com.au. And we'll catch you tomorrow night. Take care. Good night.